campus at the city greenhouses. The particular greenhouse that they have them in is, is quite warm. It's around 72 degrees this morning. And believe it or not, in dark Cleveland, there is ample sunlight to, to grow some beautiful specimen cactus. The true cactus are all native to America. They're one of our, our true native plants. When you get into the succulent type plants, you find those distributed throughout the world. But true cactus are only found native in the Americas. Yes, there is, Fred. I brought with me today a periscia. And this is the fossil cactus. That, no, it does not. It has leaves. But if you could look at it very closely, I doubt if our viewers will be able to see this, but there are thorns under each leaf. And this is believed to be the cactus that all other cactus came from. This one is found in Central America. And eons ago, when the climate changed, this was one of the few plants that was able to survive. It can drop all of its leaves and survive months of dry weather and then grow new leaves. From this one, all other cacti evolved. There are over 1,300 different species of cactus. It's an extremely large family of plants. I think this is one of the reasons that people shy away from them. There are so many of them. All cactus do bloom. To get a cactus to bloom, however, can be tricky. We're going to take a look this morning at some Christmas cactus that are blooming a little late, though a lot of the Christmas cactus bloom after Christmas also. And to get these particular, these are true cactus, though they don't have thorns. But to get these to bloom, they must have short days coupled with the long nights to bloom and also cool fall temperatures. You get these to bloom much as you do a poinsettia. They do produce seeds. Now, these particular Christmas cactus are hybrids, and the seeds from these would not be true. You would get a different plant from them. Many cactus, however, are propagated from seeds. This is correct, Fred. The, uh, the cactus is able to, to go months without water. And all of the chlorophyll, the food producing mechanism of the plant, is in the enlarged stems. Yes, we're looking at the blue chalk stick cactus. This particular one, I would estimate at about eight years old. This is another reason people may shy away from them, is their slow growth. But they, they are extremely hardy, very durable house plants. The, the best way to look at it, and this can become quite confusing, Fred, is all cactus are succulents, but not all succulents are cactus. A succulent is a plant that is capable of going months without water, but not all cactus, not all succulents are cactus. A uh, jade plant, yes, is a succulent type plant. We do have a beautiful specimen over here. Let me come on over and we can take a look at it. And yes, this is a nice old one. I would guess, Fred, that that one is about 10 years old. Yes, they do. Uh, in the home, a lot of people experience problems with jade plants. And I think it's uh, basically lack of light. If you're going to grow a jade plant, you should grow it in a south or a west window where it gets sun. What this uh, insect probably was was a mealy bug. I think the best way to get rid of those on a jade plant is to just pick them off with a toothpick or a cotton swab di dipped in alcohol. Right, you can lead them right away. Well, the old rule of thumb was to water them when it rains in Arizona. But uh, if you don't know a weatherman or don't uh, 
Right. I would say smaller cactus twice a month, your larger specimen cactus possibly once a month. Okay, this one, Fred, this is the golden barrel cactus. And th this is an excellent cactus for the homeowner. No, you, you do not. And this is one thing to think of. If you have children, you want to put your cactus in a place where they couldn't fall into them. That's a burrow's tail, Fred. No, that is a succulent type plant. And uh, again, it requires sun. And this size pot, this one is in about an eight inch pot. I would say a good watering about once every two weeks would be ample. Uh, most people over fertilize them. About twice a year with fish emulsion would be sufficient. To the manufacturer's directions, yes, that's correct. Okay, fine, friend. I'm cutting out occasionally on the uh, this. It just whenever I move, whenever I move, it uh, cuts out. It's not affecting it, but I hope it doesn't go out entirely. Next. Anything, I think. Okay. Why don't we start over here? Yeah. Open up on this white one. And just say, you know, stand up behind that one there. Then. Okay. You don't have to come back over here. Yeah, you just That'll stay in one place and you don't have to worry about moving. Now, you should be able to look Brian. nice. I saw it. You want it Ron? We lost our engineer. Hello, Ron. Ron, 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 Ron. Hello, Ron.